welcome to my channel. So for my first video, I wanted to do a little bit of a room tour of Benny's room. And this is Benny. Say hi, Benny. Say hi, Ben. So here's the room. Benny has his own big bedroom that he gets to run around in. He stays in his cage when no one's home, but other than that, he gets to run around wherever he wants. Hi, Benny! Cage. On top of it, I have a blanket. I just try to keep it uh, a little insulated for him because it's a little bit cold um, in here. It's the winter now. First thing, he has these two blankets here. Um, this one's his favorite. He really will sit on that all day. Um, and this one is just a big blanket that I rolled up on the sides a little bit. Um, he's kind of destroyed the shape of it, but he likes to lay in that one. Here we have his water bowl. He usually drinks out of his water bottle, but he's having teeth trouble right now, and he's going to have to get them pulled. So he's having trouble drinking out of the bottle. So I switched him to a bowl. I'm going to get one that attaches to the side of the gate because he tends to knock this over. Um, yeah, but that's how we have it for now. here in the corner um this is the scatter proof kind i got this not because he kicks up litter but he was having some trouble with potty training and i found that after a couple times of peeing in the box he didn't want to go back in so i switched it to one that had a grate so he wouldn't be standing on the pee and after that he learned right away so i would recommend this if you're having litter trouble or of course if your bunny is someone who scatters the litter and then we have his little hay feeder right in there. And then on top of the cage, I keep some daily necessity stuff. Um, here's his medicine. He's a little sick right now, like I said. That's where I give him his veggies. That's from yesterday, so obviously I still have to wash that. I always keep a spray bottle of vinegar on hand in case he has accidents. And then a little air freshener. I've got a scooper for his litter so I can scoop out the wet stuff and then a dustpan so I can collect the poop and hay that's in the cage to keep it clean for him. Roller paper towels, trash can. I've got his box of hay. Um, I have a really big bag of hay in the closet and it's just easier to maneuver it around into the cage with a box. And then a box of some extra supplies. I've got his grooming stuff, some treats, some toys. Just a little extra thing. We've got some um, little Christmas decorations. Just kind of put up randomly. I have a lot of little random stuff around the room. And a thermometer to make sure it's not too cold, too hot. And then here we have a bookshelf of some stuff. Um, this little painting that I did. Yes, it says Molly and that is not his name. That will all be talked about in a future video. Benny's story is a little bit uncommon about how he came to be part of the family. So you'll learn that later. Um, we've got some little decorations, some hand sanitizer, and this is a little memorial box that I made for Lily. She was my other bunny. She passed away very recently. Um, you'll hear her story later. It's pretty sad and heartbreaking, but I learned a lot from having her, and I think you guys could learn a lot from her story, so I will definitely be telling you all that later. Down here we've got a tissue box full of plastic bags for when I clean. Some more hand sanitizer back there for breeze and stain remover if he makes an accident on the carpet. This bottom shelf I keep clear because he likes to play on it. And then over here we have his toys. He doesn't play with toys very much but he's got some cardboard in there. Um, he likes this one the best. It's made of hay. So he likes to pull these pieces out. Um, this was actually Lily's toy. But Benny has come to like it, so I let him play with that. But his favorite part of this is the basket. He will empty it out, tip it over, get inside, roll around. Really likes that. Up here, I just have a little poster of like all different bunny breeds, and I put a little wreath on it for Christmas. Next to that, I have a little cardboard mantle that I made myself because I wanted to hang up stockings. So 
just a few pieces of cardboard and thumbtacks. This is Benny's stocking with a little treat and a toy. Got some lights. And then this was Lily's stocking, but, you know, I don't want to take that down just yet. We have a little Christmas tree from Target. Um, a little picture of Lily. And then that's Benny and Lily when they were just starting to bond. And then we've got Benny and a little Eiffel Tower. And then above the mantle is a painting that I did of a Lily, just as a little memory of my baby girl. The buddy room is also my office. I'm currently a graduate student, so I have a lot of work to do. And I like to do it in here so I can let Benny run around and spend some time with him while I do work. So this is my desk. I've got some paintings that I did over here, over here. And then here we have a scale. Uh, I like to keep an eye on Benny's weight just to make sure everything's going well, so I've got that there. Um, this is where I keep his food, his little food dish, special for the holidays. And then a towel. I use this if I cut his nails or, you know, whatever I need it for. I've got a calendar, keep track of all my stuff. I've got an appointment for Benny up there. More calendars, school supplies, tissues. Uh, this isn't too exciting. Just got some pens, post-its, stuff like that. And then I do keep his treats here. Um, when I was in the process of training him to learn his name, I would sit at my desk and call him over and give him a treat. So that's why they're right there. I also keep them on hand in a little jar, just in case. Some more school stuff. Got my laptop. My awesome crazy bunny lady mug. And then some more Christmas decorations. I've got a candle, a little gingerbread house, a K for my name, and then a little Christmas tree, because I think the bunny deserves to have some Christmas decorations. And then just some notebooks. Around the room we just have pieces of cardboard and pillows and boxes. Benny likes to run and jump on everything. So I like to leave a lot of little stuff out that he can play on but not get hurt on. And a pillow for myself if I lay on the floor and do some homework. He likes to hang out with me. We have the closet where we keep all of our extra bunny supplies. Benny likes when the closet doors are open. He can run and play. So we've got two big bags of hay. I have another big bag downstairs because they were on sale so I kind of just stocked up. Um, Benny really likes this hay. It's half of it's kind of soft, half of it's a little hard, so it kind of does both both for him. I've got this box of puppy pads, which I really don't use. I tried to use in the bottom of his litter box, but he found it and tore it apart, and I don't want him eating that. So I haven't really figured out how to use them yet. We've got animal litter. Um, I like to use the paper-based pellet litter. I find that it helps with odor best and it's easy to clean. Got Benny playing. He likes obstacles. Um, up here, like I said, some of my brother's stuff because he still left some things here when he moved. Um, we've got the bag of Benny's food. I use the Timothy Complete hay-based rabbit pellets. An extra litter box just in case. And then in here, We've got some extra bowls and toys, just in case. Benny's room, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!